Hey everybody, welcome back to JMV Rock Counting. I'm Jay, and V is on the couch napping. Uh, we had dinner and was watching a movie, and she she uh, fell asleep. So uh, I told a couple people I was going to do this video, and I spent a lot of time cleaning this stuff up. And there's a lot here, and I still got a bag full, plus not a whole lot, but I still got stuff in this big old bowl. I was cleaning for a couple of hours on a lot of this stuff, and then I just said, heck with it, I'm not cleaning no more, and, uh, you know, a lot of it is as clean as I could get it anyways. So, uh, so as a lot of you know, I've been, I, I, I'm a truck driver and, uh, I, I go down to Florida a fair amount and all, well, let's say about 90 to 95% of what I'm about to show you is all what I collected this past week. Yeah. There's a couple of things that, uh, were, you know, from previous weeks, you know, thing here too, whatever. But, uh, actually all the, there's going to be some shells. I think that was last week. I can't, re I can't even remember all the corals, almost all the corals, except for a couple of them were this, this week here. So I'm going to show you this stuff. And then I will uh, turn off all the lights and we will hit it with the UV. A Lone Fire SV83. And uh, it's not the best UV light, but it's not bad. Uh, oh, I don't even know what to say about some of this stuff. Uh, I will, I will say first and foremost, I do not know anything besides some general, general, uh, identification with some of this stuff, especially on the shells and stuff like that. I don't, I, I don't know what this stuff is. I've watched a few videos from Paleo Chris and Wild Kyle and Theo and a few people uh hunting in Florida and finding some of this stuff. Uh actually most of the corals I don't see people picking this stuff up, so I like it. I mean it's you know, you'll see it's highly calcified. Uh you know, they go for the clam shells that are calcified and the whelk shells and stuff like that. Now all the they're fossil shells, but they're not calcified. But I thought some of them were pretty cool. So, you know, if that's not your thing, just don't pay attention to it. I'm not going to show everything like up close and personal, uh, but I'm going to show a few things. So I'll pull them up to the camera and do close up. So, yeah, without further ado, guys, I hope you liked the video and like subscribe and give me a thumbs up uh give me a comment and let me know what you think i want to turn it around and we'll get the show started okay i don't have a whole lot of room on this table it's not a very big table and as a result you cannot see everything that's on the table <laughs> I've got stuff back this way some and uh, I will just start at the top end it's kind of like this most of this stuff from here over over this way this is stuff I collected this week and all these shells and stuff I did I think it was last week yeah I'm pretty sure it was last week so 
but uh yeah i mean okay i'm just gonna show you some of these shells i ain't gonna show very many of them but you know i, I haven't collected too many of these but i went to a job site and i just found some pretty cool ones they're not perfect you know some of them they're you know there's there's some damage to them they're not really calcified uh and if you know what these are i don't think theo watches my channel or wild kyle or paleo chris but if they get if it does get around to them or somebody else knows uh tell me what they are you know because some of these are pretty cool i know they're some form of whelk and uh these right here are anyways you know i know uh some of them under the uv can glow pretty good i like <sighs> I like these little bitty ones. They can have such good details in them. I mean, you look, that's smaller than my fingertip. And if you thought that one was small, look at this little bitty tiny thing. I can't even hold it hardly. Looks like a bean. I'm not sure what kind that one is. A couple of these little bitty longer ones. This one was pretty cool. I think it's probably been broken or something. I don't know. I don't know which side on this one is the top and which is the bottom. I think this is the top. But I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's the other way around. This one's different. And I think these are olive shells. I think they're called olives. I had a couple pretty good ones of those. Uh, let me kind of glance and see if there's any more that I wanted to kind of show you. I'll show you. This, I'll show you this real quick. There was. I got more. There's. There's more in there, but I. I just ran out of room. I. I, just, I don't have any more room. <laughs> and like I said, the, I've got a bag full of unclean stuff. More of the corals and you know maybe some more of the clam shells stuff like that and i don't know how many of you saw that one video that i did or that round betroidal looking really highly calcified round thing well that's what these right here are i found more of these but these aren't i tried to clean this up i took a denture toothbrush to these things and i don't have dentures i bought the I bought it specifically for cleaning rocks, and uh, that's as clean as I could get it. But, you know, I've got how many of these three? Well, that one's kind of a fourth one. I don't know. The other one, I didn't get it off my display in there, but the other one has really clear... On all, I mean, the whole thing is basically made up of tiny little calcite crystals, and you can see the detail if when you zoom in on them really good. But these have been pretty well worn down, and I think I'll probably cut these or one of them at least and see what's inside because i've got a good one for display this one's kind of like part of one of those and then it was almost like a shell or something you can see the ridges it's almost like a big clam shell or something and maybe the calcite 
bowled up out of it or something. I don't know. I don't know if you can see any details to identify it as calcite in there, but I don't know. Showed that one. That one almost looks like it was a shell at one time, too. I don't know. And then I sent a little sneak peek to a few people <laughs> and told them I was going to be doing a video. And this was the, the sneak. I found this. And you can see how translucent that is. So I don't know how far kind of far down inside there the calcite goes but there's a fair amount of calcite in this one this one's super cool uh oh I lost my light I wonder why I was looking dark Okay, let's try it now. So I know that uh, I found these, a lot of these shells and stuff at... Uh, I found a couple down in, in Key West, but I found some more at a spot that I had never stopped at in the Keys. Uh, I don't know which key it wasn't. It wasn't too awful far out of Key West, but uh, you know, there's not really a whole lot of places down there that I could possibly stop at. But, uh, you know, I'm driving a big truck. So this is what I think it is. I think the shells a lot of times just underneath. Like, this has got the original shell still on it, right? And then this side, that shell is starting to break away. And you can, maybe the calcite just kind of replace, starts replacing the shell on some of them. You see some right there. I don't know. Some of the calcite clams I've seen, they've got huge crystals in them. But then some of them, maybe they're like this, and I think it's just becomes a concretion of sand and junk that gets inside of them. And this one, I didn't get a chance to clean up, but you can see the shell is pretty much calcite on this one. It's it's a replaced calcite. And this one's another one, good example. You know, you got the actual shell that's on this side. And then you got Nothing but calcite on this side. I don't know if you can see down in these little... That's too bright. But you can see... So you can't see through that part of the shell. But maybe if I took a, I don't know, and worked that with a flat lap or something, ground off the actual shell down to the calcite. I don't know what the purpose would be for doing that, but I don't know. 
This one pretty much looks like all calcite. I'm not sure. This one's all completely dry. Did I show this one? Yeah. Uh, and then you got chunks like this. They're just kind of... I don't know if they're just like conglomerations or whatever, but then there's pieces of calcite. I'm trying to see some of the crystal faces and points, but you can kind of see some of the faces, you know, with the shimmer of it. I'm not really seeing any good points on this one. But that's obviously, obviously calcite. You know, I know uh, the last couple times I've done any kind of videos on these corals and stuff, they've not done well. So maybe I shouldn't do them anymore, but uh, eh, I like them, so I'm showing them. I could break that off probably. Let's see, I thought there was something. Oh yeah, this one right here. It's off screen. See, it's like the whole thing is just calcite replaced. I don't know if you break it open, if there'll be a hollow. It feels pretty heavy. But I don't know if you'd break it open, if there'd be any good crystal points in there. I don't know. Found a few of these like this that just kind of glowed in the sun. I don't know. They don't look like a shell or anything. But it looked like calcite to me in the sun. Here's another one. That's definitely calcite right there. Trying to see if I can see any points on it. But... Looks like maybe sort of right there, I don't know. Mm. I think this one right here's got some good just a chunk that I found. Just kind of, when you're walking with the sunlight, man, that stuff just kind of glows almost like an agate. And I thought this little coral was pretty cool. Just round. I've seen it from this side. And that's like a really small one. But you can see where it was probably attached. Uh, these things are neat to me. Since I'm right here, I'll show you this. I don't usually pick up shells like this, but this thing had such good color. See the rainbows in this one. You can see it on both sides. Now, Vicky doesn't really care for the shells and stuff, so... I usually don't pick them up. But the outside of this one is just ugly.
<laughs> you know, there's a crap ton of these shells like this down there. Man, I could fill buckets for with them right there. That size and down to minuscule, little bitty tiny ones. And then there's all kinds of stuff like this too that's just clam or is that oyster? You know, I don't even know why I picked these up, honestly, because I guess I've seen some yellow and I thought it might be calcified, but I don't really see. I don't know if it is or not. I picked, I've got more of this stuff too, but this kind of material. There's no rainbow on it. I didn't show these little shells. These are kind of some pretty cool little type of clam. I showed those as well, but I didn't really show these. And little suckers look mean. I can imagine what these things looked like without all this stuff actually broken off. Just look at this one. I mean, imagine stepping on that sucker out in the ocean. Ouch. So, yeah, if you know what this is, it looks like it might have some calcite growing in it. So, let's get to the corals. This one, I did not find this week. I found this one and a couple others at this one spot. And, oh, it's very highly calcified. I mean, that's just basically calcite replaced. Just re took over the whole structure, became calcite. At least that's my take on it, if I am incorrect. Feel free to correct me. This one's dirty, but you can tell that there's calcite there too. And you're gonna really see this stuff whenever I hit it with the UV. You know, most of them I found weren't like that little one right here. You know, perfectly little round. They're just chunks like this that's been broken apart and who knows how big it was at whatever time. And I don't know, honestly, what kind of corals those are. Uh, found a few of these kind of like coral fingers. This is one of the better ones right here, as far as seeing the structure and everything. Should have cleaned this one up. Hmm. This one right here was kind of neat. You can see some calcite in the center there. But that's almost roundish. I think it's just been chewed up and broke up. Because, you know, a lot of this stuff I find in like a driveway type. Here's another like finger. Bigger one. This one's kind of heavy. I'm wondering, I wonder if some of this stuff, yeah, this one too, shoot, I'm sitting here thinking I was done with those. Yeah, 
This one really shows that coral structure. But, I mean, you can see, I don't need to pick up every one of these. You know, you can see that they're corals. Several of these are very highly calcified. And you got this one right here. I don't think it's got hardly any calcite to it at all. But that is such a cool looking coral structure. I picked up, I don't know, this one's highly calcified. And I think I might cut this one. I mean, I think it's another, it's just another chunk of coral. But this one looks different than the other one, so I don't know if it's a different type of coral. Or if it's just been broke a piece, you know, it's just, this is what you got left of whatever chunk it was. It's really heavy. It's, it seems abnormally heavy. And I don't think it's agatized because I don't really see any kind of indication of chalcedony on the outside. I see, you know, the calcite. I don't know. If, is, is calcite that heavy? <laughs> I don't know. But I might cut this straight down the middle lengthwise. Found I can find stuff like this all over the place. It's just a bunch, big conglomeration shells and bits of shells and I figured I'd pick some of this stuff up and bring it home and I could probably break some of that off but it's got different type of shell on that side you know if I maybe get an air scrub I could clean that up, prep it, something, you know, a lot of the same old, same old type stuff with these type of corals, but very highly calcified, you can see the glitter, you know, the druzy, Somewhat with this lighting, I guess. I like corals. I've already showed this, but this is a honeycomb. I think I've got one of my very first videos was on this one right here. This is my favorite find because it actually looks like a daggum petrified piece of honeycomb like right there it looks like the you know pupa is covered up you know and gonna be ready to hatch out and the rest of them are about to have pupa laid in it but in the sun each one of these little pockets you can see some of the little crystals if I can get close enough and keep from shaking I think I found this in Daphne Island, Alabama. 
You have to go back and watch my other video on it. Oh, this thing's super cool. I love this one. And I found a good one. Oop. Yep, the joys of filming. <laughs> this tripod's top heavy with this phone. Oh, here's nothing I found. I think I found this in Ohio, but I'm going to show it because it's pretty cool. The big, thick. And I've got several that are like four to five times as big as this. Just big death plates. Clams and brachiopods and stuff in it. I don't know if I got this one in Kentucky or Ohio. But some people like stuff like this. I might send this one to Cheryl. She wants she wants a death plate. This one's doable size wise. The other ones are way too heavy and big. Okay. I guess I've rambled on enough. I don't need to take anything else out of this bag and show it's all the same type of stuff. Corals like that. I've got and I've got much, much bigger pieces and more in out around the uh, carport out there. So, oh. let me uh, let me go ahead and stop the video for a minute, and I will uh, get the UV ready. Okay, I wanted to show you a couple of things real quick. Uh, I think I showed you that. Where am I? Let's see. Yeah, these two. Because I want somebody to tell me what these are. That's a whole uh, clam. It's just this one's so weird. It was like wedged in something maybe. I don't know. This one's whole too. But this one wasn't wedged like this one was. So if you uh, know what that is. And uh, there were some regular rocks that I picked up. This one is the one I picked up. This one right here. I don't know why, I guess because it's got this line and different coloration. I don't know why I picked it up. Or this one, I guess because of that. I don't know if that would be quartz or what kind of seam that would be running through that. But I had to show you those because, uh, yeah, you're going to want to see them in the UV. So. Okay, let me turn the lights out. Boom. <laughs> I mean, right away, these corals just light up. The shells light up. Everything down there. You just, you walk around at night with this stuff. And everything's just, it's either white like that or you there's a lot of stuff that glows orange like that like almost a pinkish orange and then you got stuff like these two rocks i just showed you look at that so i don't know what this rock is right here but uh i don't mind having that <laughs> that other one doesn't really 
show anything, I don't think. This one big clam here has some pretty awesome UV. And where's that one that uh, has the good calcite in it? Yeah, this one. This was the one that was really see-through that I did the sneak peek on. And then you got that. <laughs> yeah, a lot of this stuff does that. This probably does too. Oh, that one's not so much. That other one that I did, uh, the other video on, has it really good. It's got a little bit. There was uh, some of this stuff that really has a good phosphorescence. Look at that. That's got to be surface, some kind of surface staining. I don't know, I cleaned like this one. I cleaned up really good with soap and water and scrubbed it. And it don't have as much of that orange to it. I don't see anything else that's like crazy. You know, this stuff just kind of glows. Why? Because there's so much calcite and everything down there. It's almost an orange, you know, yellowy, orangey coloration to a lot of it. You know, a lot of the shells, I think more of the modern shells and stuff, when you hit them with UV, if there was color on them before they faded and turned white, that pattern and color will just show up yeah i'm not really seeing too much of these shells here that except for that one right there that i just picked up and showed it's got a little bit of those two got some good afterglow Yep, a bunch of these shells do that. I wonder if this one has any. Yep. If that's uh, bothering anybody's eyes, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm a fool for this UV stuff. Well, even this, uh, I'll show you this death plate that I got in Ohio. Even this thing, shells that's in the matrix of this rock show up really orange. Pretty cool. Well, there you go, Cheryl. Let me know if you don't like this one. I can find others. <laughs> and uh, while we're at it, I'll I'll probably try to show you this too. But this, uh, I got these calcite geodes. Okay, cracked one of them open, and look at that. It's like a pink, 
ink does not show up well, but you can see the crystals in that. I gave a piece of this to my cousin. Look at the dog tooth that was inside this crystal. This is what I'm hoping to find in the shells and stuff. But this was a geode and I don't know where, I don't know where it was from. But that calcite in this is really pink. And while we're doing our UV show, I'll show you some ruby and few shot. And some bright, bright rubies. Yep. Is there anything else I can, that's within reach. You look in the bag, see if anything's insane. I don't see anything more. Okay, let's see. Yeah, I don't see anything else worth showing. So let me stop it and I'll turn it around and we'll go from there. Okay, well, I hope I didn't bore you. It's too bad. I like this stuff. I'm going to have to do a proper UV show here soon. Uh, maybe next weekend I'll get all the Sterling Hill stuff out and show some other good UV stuff. Heck, Vicky's starting to get a little workstation going on over here, this little desk we put in here. And uh, there's a piece of highlight opal I could have put on there. The show in the UV. Big, thick chunk, too. I think she's going to do a short on this. So... Uh, yeah, but this is, I want to show this one. This is the piece that, here's the, those two pieces of the calcite, uh, geode. I don't know how it was together because it broke into a crap ton of pieces. But uh, this is not something you want to cut. So, I mean, I didn't crack it too hard. It's almost like the sugar geodes. You barely touch them and they just, fracture apart that had some super cool freaking calcite in it pretty clear look how clear that one is a big point right there sticking up and some of those too i've got some more of these and I can, i'm gonna have to dig them back out because yeah those are super cool Okay, I don't know what I'll do. I'll probably try to either cut next weekend if we get some good weather, or I'll set up a video for the Sterling Hill stuff, or I might try to actually get the flat lap out and see if I can actually do anything with those uh, lap pads that, that came with it. Uh, they, I don't know. They looked like they was wore out to me, so I was going under kind of a self-assumption that I was going to have to buy all new flat laps, you know, the pads. So, I don't know. I was going to see if Chris will look at the stuff. I'll get it out, maybe. But I got to put this stuff away. I ain't going to do it tonight. It's already getting too late. I waited around. I had took me a couple hours to clean this stuff and what I did clean. I cleaned a fair amount though. I even tried some of the, I tried the sonic cleaner on a couple of those smaller pieces. I don't know if it really did any good. You know, I just used water. I don't know if I was supposed to put anything in the water. I've never used it before. You know, it's something Vicky had for jewelry. So I figured I'd try it. Whenever I go to uh, start tumbling, get to that pro that process, I'll probably try to get a bigger sonic cleaner. So, thanks for watching, guys. Tell me what you think about all this stuff. If you know what some of this stuff is, please tell me. I want to learn. Uh, I guess I could look it up on Google search or something, but. Hey, I got friends, y'all. 
and somebody out there knows <laughs> i know uh and if you don't or you don't want to comment and don't but uh thanks for watching guys i'm jay v is i hear her stern she's awake hey, say hey v hello. i don't know if you heard that but she said hello all right thanks for watching guys like subscribe give me a thumbs up give me a comment share it out do whatever you want to do tell me i'm a i'm a goofy whatever you want to do i don't care i am have a good night have a good week coming up and take care bye